Now, you mentioned the hijacking of the council. What was it like? Uh, we were, you weren't a bishop at the time. You were probably... No, I was in the seminary. I was... Uh, I graduated from high school in 1966, okay. and already the turmoil was starting. The council ended in 1965, but things really r ramped up, uh, and I, I went. I did two years of junior college in our diocesan seminary in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Then I went to the Catholic University of America to study philosophy. The philosophy program there was outstanding to this day. I'm so grateful for it. But the seminary was in complete turmoil, and there was, there yeah. was, uh, and we, I, I lived through all of the liturgical abuses. I mean, I, yes. I, when I read Summorum Pontificum and the letter that the Pope wrote to the bishops, uh, you know, he he said it was practically more than a person could could stand. It was uh, at times, and I I saw I had grown up with a wonderful catechesis, the Baltimore Catechism. Uh, we were. Uh, in, instilled a very deep understanding of our faith. Uh, I would say an understanding of our faith which uh, formed us to know that we could always learn more. You know, those, those great definitions from the Catechism, they all led you to think more deeply about, about the reality, you know, to, to say that a sacrament is an outward sign instituted by Christ to give grace. <laughs> You can be unpacking that for your rest of your life, mm -hmm. but I, I saw that all evaporate in this kind of uh, ridiculous emphasis on experience without any proper uh, instruction, and and then of course I mentioned the abuses in the liturgy, and then I saw so many priests who abandoned the active priestly ministry, so many religious sisters who abandoned their their consecrated life, and um, it was simply a time of of great turmoil. Uh, as I say, uh, uh, under Pope St. John Paul II and Pope Benedict XVI, uh, the, uh, we saw things, uh, there's been a, a mm -hmm. great progress made in restoring the, the sacredness of the, of, the, of the sacred liturgy, uh, and also, also great efforts made to improve catechesis, much more needs to be done. Uh, and that's the way in which we we must uh, we must con continue to to go. But I uh, did you ever get because you were okay? So ordained in the late or mid seventies. So the the kind of unfolding hijacking of the council was taking place. Obviously, as you were a priest, um, did you ever get swept up into this? Was it? No, I, I remember uh, when I was in high school. I was in the high school seminary. And there was a certain euphoria about yeah. the council. It was it was like it was a whole new age in the church, and there was, and mm. I remember for a while being somewhat fascinated with that. And then, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, in the end, I said to myself, "Well, uh, I, I came from a good home, a good Catholic home, and and then the minor seminary was really, in, in the Catholic schools, we had wonderful sisters and priests in the parish, and then." Uh, uh, the minor seminary was also uh, uh, had led us already into a, a serious uh, Christian life. I, I couldn't abandon that. I, I, I knew that this was, uh, mm -hmm. and also, uh, and this was a great grace. All the time that uh, in the seminary, first of all, there were always some very good priests, uh, but also there were fellow seminarians. Yeah. Who were were good men, and they 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 called forth the the best in 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 a person. They they were good friends in the sense that they led you to be to become the best person you could be. Uh, so I, that I didn't always see things. Uh, when I was a young man, uh, I didn't see them as clearly as as I I think I see them today, but. Uh, uh, on the other hand, I couldn't, I couldn't buy into that. Man, have you checked out Exodus 90 lately? If you've heard of Exodus 90 before, you're probably thinking of cold showers and Lent. But the Exodus 90 app offers so much more. It's a daily companion to help you grow closer to God and to become the man you want to be. This summer, I'm following along with the app's daily scriptures, reflections, and prayers. It's awesome. On the app, you can join the enthronement to the Sacred Heart, 
the Exodus 90 Summer Book Club and St. Michael's Lent, which starts August 15th and leads up to the Feast of St. Michael the Archangel on September 29th. St. Michael's Lent is an ancient tradition of prayer and fasting popularized by St. Francis in the Middle Ages that's been lost in our time. Let's bring it back. Join the men of Exodus 90 and Father Carlos Martins, Catholic priest, exorcist, and host of the Exorcist Files, who will serve as our spiritual guide for St. Michael's Lent this year on the Exodus 90 app. We will awaken to invisible realities and enter into the spiritual battle that rages around us all the time. Go to exodus90.com slash Matt for a 14-day free trial to the Exodus 90 app and to learn more about St. Michael's Lent. That's exodus90.com slash Matt to join us for St. Michael's Lent starting August 15th.